Welcome to another video tutorial for the Quiz and Survey Master plugin. Today, we'll guide you through setting up the reporting and analysis add-on on the QSM plugin. To make things easier, we'll demonstrate the setup using a disposable WordPress website with InstaWP. You can visit InstaWP.com to check out this website. Now that our website is ready, let's proceed with installing the QSM plugin. Great! The QSM plugin is installed and is ready to use. Next, I'll create a quiz and add it to a post on my WordPress website. As you can see, the quiz is working perfectly. Now, let's move on to analyzing the quiz results. To do that, hover over QSM and click on Results. Then, navigate to the Reporting and Analysis tab. You have the option to purchase the Reporting and Analysis add-on individually, or you can choose one of QSM's bundled plans to enjoy significant discounts on bundled purchases. To make a purchase, select the add-on type you prefer and follow the straightforward checkout process. Let's learn how to install the reporting and analysis add-on. Simply hover over the plugins menu and click on Add New. Then click on Upload Plugin and select the zip file you downloaded from the QSM website. Make sure to activate the plugin once it's installed. Next, hover over QSM and click on Results. Then, navigate to the Reporting and Analysis tab. Enter your license key in the input box and click on the Submit button to activate the add-on. Now let's analyze the quiz we created. Select the quiz you want to analyze and you'll see the summarized data displayed in the Results Overview section. To facilitate easy analysis, let's set up custom charts. Click on Add New Chart, select the question you want to analyze, and choose the desired chart type. You can create multiple charts for different questions, and these arrangements will remain the same each time you select the quiz, unless you make changes. This way, you won't lose your results dashboard when switching quizzes. Each quiz can have its own separate custom chart layout for convenient analysis. Now that we've explored the custom dashboard for the quiz, let me introduce another feature of the reporting and analysis add-on. You can showcase pie charts and bar charts for individual questions to the quiz takers. To set this up, you need to configure the result page using the variables available in the Insert Template Variable button. Copy the question ID from the Questions tab. Go to the Results tab and edit the results page. Click on Insert Template Variable. Select the variable you want to display and paste it in your results page replacing the X with the question ID you copied. You can use both pie charts and bar charts in a single question for better understanding. Once the results page is set up, preview the changes by attempting the quiz and you'll see the charts displayed as desired. You might be wondering if it's possible to display charts for categories instead of individual questions. QSM has got you covered. Let me demonstrate that by adding all of my questions to specific categories.
Now, select the variable for the chart you prefer and paste it in the results page. For the sake of this demonstration, I'll use both pie charts and bar charts. You'll notice that the charts now show the data collected within specific categories. Currently, it's displaying points since the current quiz uses a point-based grading system. If we change the grading system to correct or incorrect, the charts will show the data in percentages. I hope you found this tutorial helpful. Until next time, take care and goodbye.